According to a new national survey from Discover Personal Loans, 80% of American consumers are anxious about their financial situation, present company included. Uh, compounding the issue, many don't feel financially equipped to handle life events from job loss to unexpected emergencies or even an economic downturn. Yeah, we spoke with Dan Nicoli, vice, uh, vice president of Discover Personal Loans. Nicoli talked to us about the survey results and shared tips that may help alleviate financial anxieties and help people feel better prepared for the unexpected. Take a look. Hey, Dan, thanks for joining us this afternoon. We appreciate it. Thank you so much for having me. Absolutely. So uh, let's talk about this. This is very interesting. Which survey results did you find the most interesting or surprising about this topic? So every year, Discover Personal Loans conducts a survey to find out how Americans are feeling about their finances. And the headline this year was that 80% feel some amount of financial anxiety. I think the thing that was most surprising to me is how consistent that's been. We've had virtually the same result for three years running. At the top of the list of reasons that individuals give for why they feel financial anxiety this year, we heard high rates of inflation and high costs for everyday expenses. And so I think those are things that are very understandable. We're all feeling the pinch. Absolutely. Yeah. I think everybody's feeling that. Right, for sure. And what are the, the top misconceptions that people have around managing debt? The top misconception is that they don't believe they can improve their financial situation if they have debt. And in fact, a third of our survey respondents said they don't believe they'll ever get out of debt. I'm far more optimistic. I think there's a lot that individuals can do. And I've seen people have tremendous success if they deploy a combination of a budgeting strategy and proactive measures to reduce the interest rate that they're paying on existing debts. Well, yeah. with as many people feeling the, the, this anxiety in the way that they are, do we have any tips for people who are feeling like this or can even avoid looking at their bank accounts? Yeah, a lot of people feel so overwhelmed they don't want to look at their bank accounts. 41% of Gen Zers in our survey responded likewise. So we know that, that people don't want to do that. Unfortunately, uh, the, the same tried and true things that have always been there are, are going to require them to look at their bank accounts. Right. So you've got to give yourself pause, take a deep breath, pull out a pencil, pull out a piece of paper, and then get to work writing down your expenses in a budget because only once you understand all of your expenses can you consider what opportunities you might have to either eliminate one or reduce the amount that you're spending on a line item. And that gives you the flexibility you need to either divert more money towards an emergency fund or paying down debt. Very true. I like the points. Yeah, and then what type of loans usually work best for big expenses, so whether they're planned or unplanned? So if you're in a situation where your emergency fund is depleted, uh, oftentimes, unfortunately, the emergencies come up in batches. So your water heater goes out right after you have a major medical expense. Um, a loan could be a, an option for you. It's nice to have that as a, as a fallback. And so a personal loan is the type of loan that, that I would recommend because it gives you quick access to your funds. It's essentially a lump sum that you would repay in monthly installments, and it comes with a fixed interest rate. So you're sort of locked in. You know what you need to pay each month. So what are the top factors we're looking at if someone needs to check out a personal loan provider? Yeah, not all loan providers or loan products are equal. So you want to make sure, first of all, that you get a, a competitive interest rate. But beyond that, one of the main things I recommend looking out for is an origination fee. And so an origination fee is something you want to avoid. What it means is that if you had a loan for $20,000, and let's just say you had a $2,000 origination fee, you would only receive $18,000, but you'd be responsible for paying back the full $20,000 with interest. So it's something that I recommend you avoid, and I'm proud to say Discover Personal Loans product does not have an origination fee, and in fact, on top of that, we have no prepayment penalties. Yeah, that'll uh, that'll bite you in oh the wallet. Oh my gosh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> you don't want to do no. that. Dan, where can people go for more information about what we, all we talked today? Yeah, we have some really great resources on our website, discoverpersonalloans.com. In addition, they can actually check their rate for a loan without actually any impact to their credit score. So it's a nice way to know if you qualify, what you qualify for, and just have that as an option should you need to pursue it in the future. 
We've been talking with Dan Nicoli. He's vice president of Discover Personal Loans. Dan, we appreciate the info. A lot of people need to know what they're going to be looking at as far as their personal finances. Thanks a lot. Thank you for having me.